happy day. I hope you're doing phenomenally well today. But in this video, I want to talk to you about when you feel like poop, when you've hit a little speed bump that throws you into a pothole. Let me tell you, you get little potholes in your career that come at you. And I'm going to give you some perspective and some tips to help you get through it so that you can be ready to go and get back in the race. So many agents hit a little pothole and it derails them. It takes them out. So I'm going to give you some tips that are going to help you out here. Before we get going, jasonfinalexpense.com. I'm so blessed to partner in my national agency with some of the best agents across the nation. If you need help, reach out and I'll help you in any way that I can. But it's very common for a very good agent to hit a little speed bump or hit a little pothole. And what happens, it, it jars you, right? When you get that defeat that hits your heart, okay? And it's like, oh man, I've been on this phone for like a half an hour, this stinks. Okay, and you probably say other words, but you know what I'm talking about, right? Or you just drove an hour for an appointment that was the best appointment on the planet and you know what's coming. You get there, you knock the door, and then they go, oh, I changed my mind. And you're like, you're about ready to lose your mind. So what happens here is you have a, a change of heart temporarily. And what happens is we focus on the ditch instead of focusing on the direction that we're trying to go. You've got to always be focused on the direction that you're going to go. Not that temporary little pothole or the temporary ditch. What we got to do is in the place of that, we can either let it derail us, that okay, feeling, or we can let it direct us. So when you have little feelings of derailment, follow on your discipline. Focus on maybe doing more. If you're a face-to-face -face insurance agent and the appointment blows out, what you ought to do is knock the door across the street. Knock the doors on each side. Introduce yourself. See if you can get another lead right there. And if you're a telespace agent, realign yourself, get yourself ready, and then just engage with another call. You got to keep going, but you've got to remember what victory felt like. Remember when you're winning. Remember when you're winning, because let me tell you, winning matters, okay? Winning does matter big time. So you got to keep that taste of the win in front of you. You've got to keep that taste in your mind, in your mouth, okay? You don't want to let that bad little taste infect you here because if your mind is weak, your methods will be weaker, okay? If your mind is weak, your methods will be weaker. So you've got to get in a place where you almost like have a bad taste in your mouth, so you Listerine. In insurance, you got to do the same thing. When you have a, a, a temporary little speed bump, you've got to like rinse yourself, okay? You got to rinse yourself of that feeling, okay? Get it out, vent it, okay? Don't bottle it up, get it out, okay? And then move forward, move, okay? Just like mouthwash, you got to move, okay? You got to move it around to get it everywhere you need to go. As in an insurance agent, when you have that momentum that's lost, you got to move around quickly. You got to do more. You got to do more. You got to do more. You've got to smile through it if you want to be an agent that is sustained in their career. It's very easy to forget your wins. You got to keep that taste in your mouth and you got to get the bad taste out quickly. Don't get derailed by adversity. You're better than this. Agents, I don't care who you are, a veteran, a brand new agent, you're going to have times of adversity. Happens to the best of us. Let me tell you, how you handle adversity will define you for success or to be like a lot of agents that don't make it, like the rest of the folks that don't have that thick skin and don't have that sense of purpose. You guys have purpose. You're focusing on where you're going to go, not what just happened. That little pothole, so what? I'm not saying it doesn't feel, okay, it doesn't feel good. Everybody knows it, but that didn't take you out of the fight. You're good to go. Go, go, go. Do, do, do. Focus on your next call with the right mindset, but I want you to remember your last victory. It's easy to forget the victory. Remember the victory that you had. Remember the last sale. Remember what it felt like in your bones, in your very being. Keep that win in front of you if you want to be the best in your space. Keep the win in front of you. Don't be whining longer than a very minimal period of time about that little speed bump. Because let me tell you, when you make that next sale, 
that bad taste in your mouth is gone. <laughs> it's gone. It's like an Altoid, man. You pop that sucker in there and woof, you're blowing ice cubes, okay? When you get that victory, all that defeat, all the times you were told to go somewhere at the door, all your times that you were hung up on, okay, and told I got to think about it or no, not now, or all these little like little attacks against you that you feel are there. It's not personal. It's a numbers game. Ride the numbers. Ride the strength that you have. Ride the victories and you will make it. And once you get your victory, never forget it. Never forget your victory. It will propel you into the next one. Momentum in this space is power. Momentum in this space is power. When you have a victory, work and do more. Don't stop. Don't arrive. I call it destination syndrome. You get a sale and you're like, okay, I'm done for the day. Oh no. When you have a sale, go do more. Ride that wave. It's just like a surfer. Okay. I used to surf back in the day, believe it or not. Little puka shells and everything. Okay. I got pictures to prove it. But I'm telling you, when I used to longboard, you would get so wet and cold sometimes just beating those waves, heading out to sea. Okay, trying to catch the good one. And there's a lot of times that, you know what, I just didn't catch the wave. And if I just gave up and just washed myself to shore, I wouldn't experience the fun that, okay, takes place when you get that wave and you're up, okay? You got to experience the crashes over you, the negative space of this industry, if you want to experience the glorious feeling of riding, okay, that lead into the stratosphere of success. If you want to get up on that wave, guess what? You got to get crashed. You got to swallow some water. You got to handle the no bus running over your little toes sometimes, and it doesn't feel good. But remember what it feels like to get up on that wave and ride into victory, ride into success. Just like when I used to surf, I'm getting wet, I'm getting cold. And you know what? I tried to get up on that wave and I biffed. It happened all the time. Okay. That's why I had a leash on that thing to my leg when I was longboarding. But when you get on that lead, sometimes you get into a house and you think, this is it. Yeah, I got this. And then they, it doesn't go the way you thought. Or maybe a curveball came at you. Maybe they got a phone call or somebody came in and side busted you halfway through the appointment if you're a face to face insurance agent. And let me tell you, it feels miserable, but you don't give up. Keep swimming. Go catch the next wave. The waves come in just like the sea and surfing. The waves will come in if you keep paddling. Keep doing. I don't care if you dog paddle. <laughs> I don't care how you do it. But you got to keep doing it. You got to keep after the leads. Keep after the needs that they have. Keep after the leads with the needs that they desire. Always focus on the consumer first, the consumer first. But when your mind starts taking you in the wrong direction, immediately remember the victory so that you as an agent can stay in the industry and be successful. Remember the momentum. Remember the feeling when success took you for that beautiful ride on that board, okay? When you have adversity, remember your victory. Remember it well, okay? Don't be focusing on the negative because that's not going to get you anything good. That's not going to do anything but pummel you and drive you down. More activity will give you more chances of having better conversations. More conversations will give you better chances of having more conversions. And guess what? When you get a conversion, now you're getting paid. Now you've got a capitalized need that has been taken care of through a great product. Now you're bringing value and solutions to them. The better you are at serving them, the better you will be in sales. Give your client everything they want, everything they wish. You'll get everything you want as an agent if you have that in the right perspective. So when you're feeling down, when you're feeling like, oh, this hurts today, it's all right. Lick your wounds. Do more. Okay? Focus on the victory. Don't focus on the defeat. Get it over with. Rinse it out of your mouth and spit it. Pfft, I'm done, man. Now I'm focused forward. Let's go. Get that momentum. Move quickly. Okay? Don't give up. The best in this industry have felt what you feel. The best in the industry have had times where they hit the speed bumps, but how you handle those speed bumps. When you hit that speed bump, did you just let your hand off the steering wheel? No, you gripped it harder. Said, let's go. I know where I'm going, okay? The best in this industry 
just didn't give up. The best in this industry didn't lose heart, didn't lose their hustle throughout the process. And I know that's where you're at to be successful. I hope this video helps you. I hope this video gives you some perspective on how to overcome these temporary little feelings of adversity. They're just temporary. Don't let those little demons, okay, lick your ears with that trash, okay? You focus on where you're going. Focus on the successful things. Make yourself a beast, by doing more, by being better skilled, better honed. And if you need help, reach out, jasonfinalexpense.com. Have a phenomenal day. I hope this serves you well. Keep taking care of great people. They need you.